so Boltaev on his way to the ring 21 years old got to the quarterfinals in the Asian Championships in Dubai yeah. earlier this year and as mentioned summit has had one fight already winning that one by unanimous decision against Damon O'Neill of Jamaica Indian national champion and boxed at the Aiba World Youth Championships in Poland back in April got to the quarterfinals Touch of gloves and away we go in the middleweight division. Round of 32, Argentina's Manuel Villarino. The third man in the ring here. Summit with that high guard boxing out of the orthodox stance. Pops that right hand down the middle and lands a good shot early on. Volteyev of Tajikistan, a southpaw. Carries those gloves a little bit lower, trying to hook as he moves off to the right hand side wide right hand there caught summit stepped off to his left as he threw it it almost looked like it was behind him when it landed Jab there from Boltaev, just poking through the guard. Summit with a right hand on the inside. Just trying to force that through. He's the one who's mainly been on the front foot here, trying to get on top of, of Boltaev, who fends him off there with a nice stiff jab as the Indian was coming in. Looking for the right hand there, Summit. He's just a little bit too close in. That's happened a few times. He is, as I said, just looking to step to Boltaev and, and be aggressive. But a lot of the time he's he's closing down his own space a little bit too much. He hasn't quite got room for that right hand that he's trying to throw. Boltaev dips down to his left hand side as he comes in, just dabs at the bridge of his nose. The heads came together there and I think he was worried that there might be some kind of cut, but there isn't. Short with the right hand there, Summit, then Voltaev short with the jab. Nice jab there from Voltaev. Flicked that one up from the waist. Summit was more the aggressor in that round. As I said, at times he he smothered his own punches a bit. Voltaire got some nice jabs away, landed the odd the odd right hand as well. It's somebody who gets it 10-9 across the board there. He 
in terms of clean punches, I think it was it was fairly even actually, but Summit was was on the front foot the whole of the round really. And the judges preferred that. for wide left hand there, Summit. And left there from Bolte. I have neither of those two really got through clean, but I think the left from Bolte I've registered a bit more. That was solid, though, from Summit. But it's just heating up in round two, both of them. Well, Bolte, I have certainly looking to punch with more intent here. He'll know that he's behind and he dropped that first round and he needs to provide a response. Just setting his feet more and looking to really pump in that one-two. Short lead right hand there from Bolte. I've just, just caught Summit, knocked him off balance. Little uppercut there from Bolte. I've same thing. And again there, just a tiny jab almost. It's hardly travelled anywhere. Just a little tap. But with Summit coming forward, it just puts him back on his heels, takes all of his balance away. and means that his attack comes to absolutely nothing. That, that's the importance of the jab. That's what it can do. Not just score for you but take the wind out of your opponent's sails completely and it's those kind of cute little shots from Voltaev that won't necessarily get picked up on by the judges and that's not a criticism it's just that depending on what side of the ring you're on you might not even see them. Oh, a point deduction there from Summit. Point deduction for point punching around the back of the head. and Well, any point that is lost in a three-round fight can have a huge impact. He's won that first round, 10-9 across the board. This round is, I would say, pretty even going into the final minute. It's, it's not that different to the first round in that, by my reckoning, there's not much between them in, in terms of clean punching. They've both landed more. Relatively speaking, the same amount. Boltev has got onto the front foot a bit more in this round, but it's still been Summit who's, who's generally been the one coming forward, but he's got the point deduction there. So even if he does win this round, then Boltev will still very much be in it going into the third and final round. If Boltev can get the round win here, though, plus the point, then that'll be a 10-8 for him would take him into a lead final few seconds so the scoring here as always in in any round but particularly a second round is going to be crucial in it summit who's got it 10-9 with all five judges but then when you take the point off that means that it's 19 points to 18 with all five going into the third and final round so if he can get the win here if he can get the round win here, Boltaev, with three out of those five judges, then those three judges will be asked for a casting vote, essentially. It will go to judges' decision. They will all have to decide who they think, on balance, has won. Generally, when you get level cards because a fighter has had a point deducted, which will be the case here. Generally, the judges tend to go with the fighter who hasn't had the point deducted. Not always, but most of the time. But that's what Boltev needs to do. If Summit wins around here, then he's absolutely fine. He needs to win it with three of the judges, and he's absolutely fine.
Boltev, having lost those first two rounds, has just got to up this further. I thought he did up it in the second round. He looked more aggressive, but Summit still won the round. So Boltev has got to throw more caution to the wind now. There's maybe a little bit of a tired look about the, the man in red, though. Wandered in behind the one-two there and got caught by a right hand. Got caught on the way in there again too. I'm not sure if that was a jab or a head. He just dabbed at that at that nose again. Heads did come together in the first round and there is a slight nick on the bridge of the nose. A minute into round three and Voltev's just kind of standing on the outside. And then moving in with his hands down, looking for big shots and Summit can see that. Tried to jab his way in there, but generally speaking, that's how he's gone about it. And Summit isn't having too many problems with that approach. So the gum shield's come out there, that's Boltai Evson, and he's feeling the pace here. The fighter from Tajikistan. Way through round three. He's committing to this completely, Boltaev, and doing his utmost. But he's struggling a bit to to stay with Summit work rate wise. to the final few seconds. Summit's going through here. Point deduction can be a huge problem in a three round fight, but I don't think it's going to have any impact. He's won this final round. Just going for a little walk. I think he knows he has. Raises a glove. So it gets it, and it's three rounds to nil, but with the deduction, the warning there on the right-hand side, the bottom right-hand side of your graphic, that turns it into five scores of 29 to 27. So through he goes. And he will meet in the round of 16, the winner of our next fight between Ioannis Hernandez of Cuba, who beat Wanderlei Pereira of Brazil in the first round, and Beryl Agon of Turkey, who got a bye in the opening preliminary round. Those two will be coming in shortly.